597 yards. I think you'll find that is a dead deer. Bloody beauty. 597. Well, I've just shot a deer at uh, 597 yards. So I had to be uh, a little bit patient. I've seen it and then it disappeared and then it reappeared again. And uh, yeah, I've just poked one into it and it's poleaxed it on the spot. So the good old 7mm Sorm, the 162 AMAX. Um, so it's on a clearing. There's two, whoops, two clearings just there and it's just up above them somewhere, just above, up above them there somewhere. So I'll go over and get him. I'm just going on a bit of a recovery mission. Go and find this deer that I've just shot. But bloody hell, it's wet underfoot. It's been, uh, it's been a lot of rain. As you can see, it's um, water flowing down the track. I've only got um, very thin, lightweight trail running shoes on. And my feet are wet as already. Right. Go and get down through the creek and up the other side and go and find my deer. Right. I've just seen it. There it is. Right there. Bloody beauty. Bloody flies everywhere. Just a little yearling. Excellent. It's kind of what I'd hoped for. Look at that. Bloody beautiful. No wonder it bloody dropped on the spot. Exits out the base of the neck. Well, I guess it's the time of year. What is it? 18th or 19th of November? A Friday afternoon anyway and it's a little yearling stag little tiny bumps on its head obviously been kicked out from mum as mum's about to have her fawn so bloody beauty there's obviously uh the odd pig over in here now. Just seeing um, a little bit of pig rooting over in these clearings. There's one right here, right beside where the deer was. And on another little clearing, as I come across coming to this one, I found some more pig rooting. So mm, I haven't seen pigs over in here. I didn't know there was any, but clearly there is. Time to fill the drink bottle. Oh, man, it's good. <laughs> 